pineapple jam to Marie. Now, sadly, Emmeline can't eat it because she's allergic, but it is one of my favorite jams. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Yeah, my family loves it. We, mm -hmm. We've done pineapple in different jams in the past. My family eats them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, with cherries, with apricots, pineapple is like fabulous and everything. Sorry, Emmeline. That's all right. I'm used to it. Right. We have eight and a half cups of sugar, which we've measured and we're going to set aside for later. Perfect. Now we get to start dumping the yummy stuff in. We do. There's one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. And for this, you don't drain it, nothing. Just open your can and put the whole thing in. All the juices and everything. We have three and a half cups of strawberries that have been mashed. It's up to you as to the size that you want to mash your berries. We just kind of mash them until we thought it felt right. And then you have a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. And we have six tablespoons of pectin. I'm going to sprinkle that over to try to disperse it a little bit. Now we'll stir it up, put it on the stove over medium to high heat, stirring it kind of the whole time really, and bring it up to a nice boil. Now this is an optional step, but you can add about half of a teaspoon of butter and it helps to reduce the foaming. You see what a great pink color this is? It's lovely. I bet it really stands out in your pantry. It does, it does, I love it. Um, and now since we're out of boil, that's when we add the eight and a half cups of white sugar. And you just mix it in really nicely. And at this point, that's when it can scorch a little bit more. So you wanna make sure that you're stirring well. And just bring it back up to a rolling boil for one minute. We're going to use half pints today. You could do a full pint, but I find that it's a little bit better to do the half pints just because they don't get quite so sticky when your kids are using them. And it's nice to switch to a new flavor pretty yeah. regularly. The Marie's family is large enough that by the time she opens a pint and goes through a meal or two, she, she's done with it. Yeah, I mean, really, one round of toast will take care of a half pint. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, you want to do it right up until one-fourth of an inch from the top. That's one-fourth of an inch of head space. And I have a clean washcloth that we are using that we are just wiping our rims and edges with before we put on the seal. That way... We just make sure we have a nice clean edge. And I always keep a spatula on hand because there's a lot of times that you need Ooh. to, yeah, that's a little high. Yeah. There's a lot of times that you need to scrape at the end. And it's a good idea to have a spoon as well for if you overflow. Like this one, and we yes. want to scoop some out. So a really easy fix. I'm going around the... I'm sorry. <laughs> here. <laughs> Sometimes good. a little bit of reaching. That's good. Yeah, perfect. Uh, on the countertops, that's not the case. 
Hey, Sorry, my kitchen. It just matches Marie's. Mm -hmm. One of them yeah. we reserved. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need to taste test it. That's right. But these we want to put into our canner. And we're going to process these in the boiling water bath for 10 minutes if you're at sea level. We're at 2200 feet. So we are going to do it for 15. If you have any questions on how to adjust that, just go ahead and take a look at our other video on that. Because her jars fall over in this canner without it being a full load, we just put in a jar full of water to keep everything in the right spot. It's a nice little trick. Mm -hmm. Look how bright and beautiful these are. They're super pretty. You know, whenever you combine a yellow with one of the red berries, mm -hmm. it just, it makes it so much more vibrant. Yeah. I like doing that with my golden raspberries with the red raspberries. Super, super nice. And the plums. Yeah. When you do your yeah, plums. yeah. When we do the purple plums with the golden ones. We have some great footage of, or great footage of videos that we made of candy plums last year that had that, or maybe two years ago. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but we have some fun colors. Yeah, yeah, we have so many years worth of videos now that we can't remember what year we filmed what. <laughs> oh, look at these. I know. We got so a lot. Great. So what is it? We got 10? Ten. Yeah. Well, we got 11, but we kept one out for That's taste right. testing. But if you guys did it at the same rate we did, now remember, every batch is a little different. And so if you have a different number, just know that that's normal. Mm -hmm. so fun. Look at those there. I can't wait to taste them. So now it's time for time for Marie to eat. <laughs> it's time for Marie to right. eat. <laughs> right. Emmeline's like, do I even have to be in this taste tester with you? And I was like, yes. <laughs> but I get to try it. So Yeah. But I'm going to eat one of these strawberries. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And you can eat something, right? Exactly. I'll tell you how good fresh strawberries are. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Fresh strawberries are delicious. <laughs> I absolutely love this jam, but I'm having a hard time enjoying it because Emmeline can't enjoy it with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving the strawberries, though. Mm -hmm. So I hope you try this recipe. I hope you love this jam just as much as I do. Enjoy. Bye-bye.